Hello again, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to this March 28th edition of Carry Your Cross. And as I begin today, I want to begin uh, by reading a scripture to you, uh, one that uh, sometimes is misinterpreted or misconstrued, and you'll see why in just a moment. In the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians, 2 second, second Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, he writes this, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we will be able to, to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. Now, of course, as you read that, you understand that Paul says that in our afflictions, in our trials, our tribulations, when we're walking through the valley, instead of standing on the mountaintop, then the God of all comfort will give us peace, will give us assurance, will give us the understanding to know that he's right there with us. And as we go through those times, then hopefully in the future, when we have someone else that we know, a family member or a friend or, or someone else who's going through those same circumstances that, that God just brought us through, then we will be able to comfort them and to assure them and to affirm them the same way that God affirmed us. Now, where the misinterpretation comes in sometimes is that we take this phrase, the God of all comfort, and we, we think that it, sometimes it says the God of all comforts in the plural, the God of my comforts, if you will. And you understand that we all want a life of comfort, don't we? We all, we all want to have a good job. We all want to have enough money. We all want to have uh, sustenance in order to buy food and clothing and our, our, our house or uh, whatever it might be. But there are so many people that sometimes think that God owes comfort to them. And that is not true. You understand as a believer, God calls us not to a life of security and comfort, but one of faith, one of sacrifice. I would say even risk at times. Because so many times in our lives, we want to exist within our comfort zone, do we not? We want to, to live with, with no pressure. And as long as we can stay in the midst of our comfort zone, then life is not as threatening. Maybe we think sometimes that life is not threatening at all if we can remain within our comfort zone. But a life of faith sometimes involves things that we don't really deem as being comfortable, right? And I don't know where you are today. I don't know what, what you're going through. I don't know what's on your mind or what you're about to go through in, in the next couple of days or week, month, or even in the next year. But to truly love God, I, in, my, in my perspective, and to serve others, we will always be going through um, steps of faith, if you will. And we will always incur some level of sacrifice. So today, I, if you are existing within your comfort zone, if everything is going your way, if you're making enough money and, and everything is okay, even with inflation going up, it seems, you know, I, I pray that you'll still embrace the God of comfort not the God of our comforts, but the God who loves you right where you are. Of course, we're looking forward to the days ahead as we uh, go through Easter, the pinnacle of the Christian church year. And I pray that you would give thought to what Jesus Christ did for you upon Calvary and not what he just did for you on Calvary, 
but his resurrection as well. He wants to give you assurance. He wants to give you peace. He wants to give you comfort. But we are to find our comfort in him, not in the things that we possess. Until next time, this is Pastor Lane Collins right here at Mount Calvary Baptist Church. Please know that I love you. I'm praying for you and your family. If I haven't had the, the honor and the privilege of meeting you, I would surely love that in the days ahead. And for those of you who are believers, continue carrying your cross. Continue being that source of light for your family, your friends, acquaintances. But if you do not know Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I pray today you would embrace him and you would understand fully who the God of comfort is. God bless you.